right guys, welcome back to the channel. Got a few things going on today. The man, the myth, the legend, Dustin Williams, stopping by to drop off some R32 GTR parts that he no longer needs, that we really do need. Uh, so we're gonna catch up with him in a minute. But first off, I want to jump back into something on the Midnight Purple R33 GTR from my last video. There's a few things I forgot to talk about and I think they're important. So, not only does that car have a ton of modifications on it, we have a ton of records on it. So uh, some of the things you get when you buy a car from us, if the car has it, is all of this. So uh, Prince Nissan, a very famous, well-known Nissan dealership, um, is where this car came from. We have the original owner's manual for the car. Tons and tons of service records here. So uh, we actually have service records since the car was new. Uh, so going over here, you can see 287 kilometers on the car when it was purchased. And going through these records, continual updates, all from the actual dealership. So these kind of things are nice to have when you have a car that is going up substantially in value. Another important part that we find in here is the mileage verification from the dealership. So the car has a Nismo cluster in it, which I know a lot of people are like, oh, it's not the actual mileage. But you can see here in this document that the cluster was changed at a Nissan dealership. It is certified and stamped as verified mileage despite having an aftermarket Nismo cluster in it. Again, these are the kind of things that we love putting together for customers to ensure that if they ever wanna sell the car, they can continue all of the service records. Another thing that we do is provide service records for any work that we do. All of our cars come fully serviced, so you get all those additional records from us in Japanese or translated into English or in English if it was done here. So you can add it to all of these records. All right, the Mississippi Mondai, Dustin Williams is here. What's up guys? It's been like, let's call it two weeks with your car. Two weeks, yep. What do you think? Dude, I, you know, I was like skeptical, skeptical of a 33. I didn't really want one, but you know, I had to get one because it was like the collection, it was for the collection. But I've grown to love that car so incredibly much like each generation of the gtrs all have a different driving style and the way the 33 feels i have just fallen in love not only because like it's midnight purple obviously and it's like a beautiful car but the way that the car overall feels and responds and it feels on the canyons like the car is incredible dude, and i cannot stop driving it and now get a little sneak oh, peek oh, oh, here. watch out no, watch out what we got something that's a little bit sentimental to, to me and to the channel. If you guys don't know, you guys are gonna get, get a sneak peek here on Brian's channel. This uh, this exhaust is actually off of my 34 in Japan and the 33 and the 34 exhaust are the same. So this guy is going on the 33. So we're keeping it all in the family, you know? Right. I thought that was just super, super cool. But overall, I just, I'm in love with the 33. It's such an amazing car. And if you guys have the chance to drive one, I highly recommend you do so. Overall, I think the 32 has my favorite driving feel. It's the smallest, it's the most nimble, it's the most raw feeling, but the 33 feels phenomenal. So, huge, huge shout out to Brian for helping me find that car. It's yes, a, sir. It's amazing. And uh, we're gonna get the build started, add some spice. Add a little spice. All right, man, sick. Thank you, brother. See you soon. All right, guys, there is a car that y'all have been sleeping on in our inventory. This car is so sick. It is probably the fastest R32 we have here maybe aside from the Soros car, but either way, it's probably pretty close. But there's some weird things on it that I think uh, some people aren't interested in, including a shift knob, which we're gonna go replace right now. But let's check out this car. All right, so this is the one. It's been sitting in our inventory forever, and no one has bought it. And we're starting to have some suspicions as to why. This car is insanely fast. Has upgraded turbos, lots of top end speed, but this wing, maybe what's holding us back. The stock R32 wing looks more like this. We'll head over to the Soros car. Like that. 
and obviously the look that people have come to know and love. This on the other end, a GT style wing, which I thought was pretty cool because you don't really see a ton of R32s that have actually legit wings that are aftermarket on them that aren't some weird eBay stuff, but apparently no one else likes it. So we are going to take that off. Other features on this car, super rare titanium HKS exhaust, limited edition. People are sleeping on this car. DBS wheels, endless brakes with two piece rotors, Nismo front lip, Nismo bumper, projector headlights, all sorts of good things in here. Other things we're getting rid of, this grid seat. Again, as mentioned in the last video, people not super huge fans of bucket seats here in the US. Third thing, this shift knob has gotten us a lot of shit. This is actually a pretty legit shift knob, but uh, it looks rather, I guess, butt pluggy, we're told. Go ahead and replace it with this factory shift knob. It is crazy to me that people will literally say they don't wanna buy a car because of a shift knob, when it is actually this easy to go ahead and change that. Just like that. So uh, next we'll probably be replacing this and this as it is a little bit worn. Uh, but otherwise in here, got some gauges. Again, not always super popular uh, with our crowd, but it does have a really nice Gretti boost gauge and also to be noted, no dash bubble. So super, super clean dash in this car. Uh, again, I think a lot of what's holding back is the wing, the seat, and of course the shift knob, which we just resolved. Funny thing is now that this out, people are probably gonna be like, oh, yo, let me get that shift knob. And someone's gonna pay me probably stupid money for this thing, but uh, I guess it'll go in the shift knob collection behind Sean's desk until we figure out what we wanna do with it. Under the hood, lots of good stuff. This car absolutely rips. People over here sleeping on this car. We just did the timing belt. It's got HKS hard pipes, HKS intakes, epoxy radiator. It's got a cooling plate in here. This car is sick. Coilovers feel absolutely incredible on this car. It rips. We're gonna take it out here in a little bit so I can show you exactly what this thing can do and why one of you should buy it. All right, so everything is untucked on this. And the wing is out. Again, somebody's probably gonna be like, hey, yo, let me get that wing. I don't know why, but that's just literally the way it always works. Sometimes it is popular to run these cars without a wing, but we have never been able to sell a Skyline GTR without a wing. So we're gonna go ahead and get the factory wing put back on. We ordered one from Japan. It took a while to get here. We just got it paint matched. So let's get that put on. All right, so we have the rear wing installed. It just came back from paint. Looking super good. Again, getting rid of the ARC wing that everyone was complaining about. Now that they know it's an ARC piece, I'm sure everyone will want it. But uh, again, putting this car back to the way that American buyers here like it. Gas cap is out getting replaced and on to the next piece of putting in an OEM seat. All right, again, rundown on the records, but today's focus is on back to the most slapped on car in this shop. Javi and I are about to take this out. We got the factory wing on it. This car is certified gangs. Damn. This car 
was angry. We've got a limited edition HKS exhaust here, and you can hear it is nothing crazy loud. But it sounds, it just sounds super clean. It's not obnoxious. It's the way I like my exhaust. All right, we are inside the most slept on R32 GTR in the shop. Maybe most slept on GTR in the shop. Maybe most slept on car in the shop. So, uh, you can see some people don't like this giant gauge in your face, but it's necessary. Dash is super clean. We've already been over how clean this car is. Now we're gonna get into how fast it is. Hobby, the driver for today. I don't fit in that bucket seat. You haven't gotten over the swapping in the stock seat yet, but hang on here. It's quick. It's, it's really quick. So this car, if you remember, has the big endless brakes on it, so it is more than capable of stopping needs to be stopped and uh, it pulls it pulls hard We've got the new shift knob on so it no longer looks like something that you use for sexual pleasures like everybody had been commenting <laughs> what do you think this feels like horsepower wise but dino has to be more than four has to be more than four easily more than four because man this really cinches you in the seat man Tough to say, but go straight through this light and take a right at the next light. Okay, hanging out here. It's got some power, man. It really does, and it's like consistent delivery. It doesn't feel like yeah, you can really roll into it. It doesn't feel like it's gonna go all over the place like other cars. It's tight in the corners too. I mean, the suspension feels really good. Man, it sounds so clean, like just constant delivery. All right guys, thank you for taking the time to check out this car. Like I said, I do believe it is the most slept on car in our inventory right now. You can see it on our website at importavehicle.com. Definitely go check it out. Email us if you have any questions or if you wanna buy it. I'm definitely gonna start doing more videos uh, like that one with some of these other uh, incredible cars we have here in inventory. This one probably next. So uh, in the meantime, thanks for checking out the video and please someone help me get a haircut.